Hi guys, I hope all of you are doing well and fine during this lockdown. And today what we'll be doing is, I'll be showing you how to make beef ginger kway teow. Last year I did something similar but it was the dry version. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make the wet version, the Cantonese style. Okay, so first of all, what you need to do is get your ingredients ready. So what you want to do is cut nice thin slices across the grain so that it's not too tough. You can use anything from a nice top side to a tenderloin or even a sirloin. But the most important thing when looking for beef is to make sure it's got a bit of marbling so it's nice and tender. Now you just want to mix all of this together. Okay, now that we've got all the ingredients ready, um, the next thing to do is heat up your wok. And you want the wok really nice and smoking hot, all right? Because that's what's going to give that kuei tiao the nice char. Because that's the difference between a good Cantonese kuei tiao or a so-so mm, one. All right, so now that the wok's nice and piping hot, we're going to add in some oil. Add in one of the egg yolks. Kuei in. Dark soy sauce. Light soy sauce. So as the soy sauce caramelizes, it'll give that nice char to that kuei tiao. Typically at the Chinese restaurants, they don't put egg yolks in as they're frying off the kuei tiao. Uh, but because I've separated egg yolks and I don't really know what to do with them uh, like right away, so I'm just going to add it half in the kuei tiao and half I'll put it in together later on. You want to leave it there for a little bit, let it sort of char up really nicely. If you keep stirring it, you're not going to get a nice sort of uh, charred surface. So leave it there for a little while, let it char up nicely before you flip it again. All right, the kuei tiao is done. Now we've got to transfer this into a bowl. You can already smell that nice, beautiful char. Okay, so once you're done frying your kuei tiao, just give your wok a quick rinse, put it back on the fire, bring it up to heat again, and um, we're going to start frying our beef. Okay, this is another very, very important step. Um, you want to sort of flash fry the beef so you do not overcook it. Now, once it's nice and hot, oil once again. All right, now, the beef goes in when the oil is smoking hot, okay? Because, once again, I mentioned this is a flash fry, okay? You do not want to overcook the beef. Beef goes in. Again, because we've marinated the beef with soy sauce, oyster sauce, so again, there's a lot of so sugars in there that will caramelize and give you that nice fragrance. And this is done. Now let's start with the gravy. A little bit more oil to the wok. Ginger goes in. Get them nice and golden. Time for the garlic. Get them nice and golden as well. 
Now it's time for the liquid. I'm using water. If you have liquid stock, that's even better. Okay, so now that it's come to a boil, we're gonna add in some powdered stock. I'm using fish powder, about a teaspoon or so, soy sauce, all right, a little bit of oyster sauce, finally, a little bit of salt. All right, so next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna taste this stock. Mm, nice. All right, you've got the ginger coming through. You've got that nice combination of oyster sauce, soy sauce, a little bit of salt, and the fish stock is really amazing. Now we're gonna add in cornstarch, okay? So I have here a little bit of cornstarch that I've mixed with some water. This is gonna give it that nice sort of velvety texture. Cornstarch in. The Cantonese style kuei tiao or noodle really is quite thick, all right? The gravy is quite thick, so that gives it that nice, smooth, silky uh, texture to the gravy consistency. All right, once you've added in that cornstarch, you wanna make sure it boils a little bit so we cook that cornstarch, okay? Once it's been simmered for about a good minute or so, we're now going to add in the spring onion. Spring onion in. A good stir. The beef, yeah, that we've seared away. Beef goes in together with all its juices. I'm turning off the fire because I do not want to cook the beef anymore. All right. Now the eggs. Combining the egg yolks, the rest of the egg yolks together with the egg whites, and I'm going to pour it into the mixture. and just give it a couple of swirls. There we go. All right, that's beautiful. And now we are ready to serve. Okay, pick this up, and we're just gonna pour it over the kuei tiao, all right, over the flat noodle that we fried earlier on. All right, guys, so this is the beef ginger kuei tiao. All right, it's absolutely amazing. I hope you try it, it's really, really simple. Um, to me, this is soul food, okay? Um, Guys, take care, stay safe. If you've just watched it for the first time, you've not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. If you're interested to know how to make the dry version of this, hit the link over there. Uh, it'll send you straight to it. And uh, please stay safe, guys. Till I see you next time. Take care. Love y'all. Ciao.